What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Don't, don't Keep, keep up, up With The Joneses. It's your girl, Crystal, and we're in the kitchen, so you already know that means it's time for another episode of Cooking Daddy. with Crystal. Daddy. You already hear my son in the background. Y'all notice when he chimes in, he thinks I'm talking to him, but I'm talking to y'all. Today, I'm making the easiest chicken pot pie you ever wanted to make in your life. So, I'm going to tell you what you need. You need some cooked chicken. You can pull it. You can chop it. I did a little bit of both. I'm going to be honest. I have half of a cut onion, I have a can of biscuits, I have some cream of chicken soup, and I have some mixed vegetables. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to pour our cooked chicken into a large bowl. I'm gonna make sure I get all the chicken. No chicken left behind. I'm gonna pour the cooked chicken into a large bowl like that. I'm going to put my onions into this bowl. Like that. I'm gonna stir everything as I go along because I feel like it's gonna make sure everything is really combined. Um, Just so you know, I used about two cups of chicken. It was a pack of, um, Chicken thighs, they were, I wanna say one pound, three ounces, something like that. So, just so you And I used chicken thighs because it was a chicken breast shortage for some reason. Now, I have a two pound pack of vegetables. I'm gonna use half of this two pound bag, okay? That was only about a quarter. And I did have these vegetables sitting out on the counter to let them kind of start falling while I was cooking my chicken. I cooked my chicken in the instant pot just so it would cook really fast. And I pre-seasoned it in the instant pot by using some onion powder. Those are my children by using some onion powder, some garlic powder, and just truly a dash of seasoning salt. Because I know there's already gonna be salt in this soup mix that I'm using. So when that's all stirred up, I'm um, using vegetables y'all. Now I'm going to open my can of soup and this is the big can, the 22.6 ounce can. I didn't feel like this one small can would be enough, so I'm gonna pour it just to get a nice consistency. Give it an eye gauge, because I don't want mine to be too soupy. And you guys, leave in the comments and let me know what are some quick weeknight meals that you all like to do. Actually, I'm thinking that 10 ounce can might have been enough because this is looking really good, you guys. And I only use half. I think I'm gonna add just a dash more, and that's only because I have it, but I'm sure you can actually get away with one 10 ounce can. Now it's time to go on to the next phase, 
which is loading it into the baking dish. Now, I'm gonna spray this down. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna spray it. My spray is running low, y'all. That's the end of that. I guess I'm not gonna spray it down. So now, I'm gonna pour the chicken mixture into the pan. If y'all got spray, spray it down. Or you can grease it, like get a oil on a napkin or whatever. Grease, grease the baking. I didn't do that side. I was committed to spray, not going through the work of grease. So spread it out all nice and evenly, like so. How thin you want to do your chicken shreds is up to you. I didn't want it to feel like I was just eating stringy chicken. Some people like to do it really thin. I didn't want to do it that thin. I didn't want to feel like I was eating stringy chicken. That's my logic behind that. Now, now that we have this done, I am going to go on to our stuffing. Now, for our topping, we will be using these Grand Southern style, Grand Southern home style big biscuits. Eight big biscuits. I have my knife. Why? What happened? Why the pop? Cause I was opening this. I had to pop it to open it. All right. Like that. Now, what I want to do is I want to cut these in half. And I'm gonna cut them in half. Let me show you. And I'm gonna lay them on top of the chicken. The, what do you call the inside of a chicken pot pie? The pot pie? I don't know. I'm gonna lay them on. I'm gonna lay it on top. And the reason I'm cutting it in half, I don't want it to be like too thick. Like, I just don't want it. I feel like I've seen this recipe in a couple different places and it, the biscuit part always looks so thick. I'm not trying to have to go bone just deep on fork before I get the, the chicken, the pot pie, the filling, you know? Maybe that's just me. So again, I'm cutting it in half. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to these videos. My oven has reached its temperature of 350, perfect timing. Now, I'm gonna have to finagle this because let me let y'all see. So, I have some sides. This part, wait. I have this part and I have this part with no biscuit. So I'm gonna have to just finagle that. But y'all gonna see. I'm gonna work it out. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. All right, I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna finagle that. I'm gonna cut my biscuit in half like I've been doing. Then I'm gonna make little biscuits like this to put around the edges like that.
for only 30 minutes, you guys. Talk about a quick weeknight meal. And you can actually buy pre-cooked shredded chicken, pre-cooked chopped chicken, you know, whatever. If you want to even save additional time, you can get a rotisserie chicken and just pull that apart. Or you can make the chicken a day in advance or, you know, whatever other thing you want to do to even shorten the time. I'm going to take this deliciousness. Uh, I'm going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes. It will be ready like that, y'all. Well, you guys, I just took it out of the oven and look at this yummy goodness. It's a little brown in certain parts, admittedly, but it's definitely not burnt. Maybe I could have just took it out like three, four minutes early, but overall, I am happy with these results, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what do you make for quick weeknights.